<clears throat> okay, hi. I've uh, what I have open here is uh, Home Designer Pro 2018. That, that's the oldest version I have on uh, this computer. But the procedures in printing to a PDF are exactly the same all the way back to version seven, you know, ten years ago. So here goes. Okay, I'm going to go. There's a couple of ways to do this. If you don't just if you want to just print from plan view, then uh, you want to turn this icon here on. It's called drawing sheet. It just shows the drawing sheet. And to know what this is, you'd have to go to uh, you have to go to file print drawing sheet setup. And that's the size. That's 18 by 24. And if you could change this, uh, looks like 11 by 17. And the drawing sheet will get smaller. Of course, then it's a little bit harder to fit things on there, but that's, well, that's another thing. Let me go over here to uh, edit, uh, no, not file, print, drawing sheet setup. I didn't change the scale. That's a quarter inch scale to that size paper. If we went eighth inch scale, on 11 by 17. Yeah, fits a little bit better. So I'm gonna take take this uh, terrain plane and whoops, can't reach it. There it is. This is not my plan. This is somebody else, somebody else's plan they sent me, uh, they needed some help with. So anyway, there it is. And I can go, and I've set up the scale. It's going to print at eighth inch scale on 11 by 17 inch paper. Uh, if you want to add anything else here, you would add it as text or an image or whatever. I'm going to go file, print. Just print this time, print, and then print. Now I'll get a print dialog next. And then you select the kind of printer you want to, to print to. I've got a bunch of printers on my computer. Uh, if I wanted to fax it, I could use that. Uh, I've got several PDF printers. Uh, this one, that one, that one. The one I commonly use is the Chief Architect Save as PDF. <clears throat> and you make sure that the uh, this match, see, th this is a, a larger size than I set it up for, so I have to change the size back to 11 by 17 so that it fits the actual intended sort of print to scale when it's printed out. If I, if I printed this PDF to uh, 18 by 24, it wouldn't scale right. So that's the reason I, you know, you set it up for a certain paper size, you have to print it at that size. I have the color turned off because uh, unless you have your own printer, uh, hiring somebody to print in color is very expensive. So now I'm, now I'm just gonna click on save as PDF and you get this dialog box here. And this is where you decide where you wanna park the file. And that I've got it set up for my desktop and that's fine, that's where I want it. And you can, give, you can change the name at this point except for the .pdf part. I'm just going to save that, and it automatically opens in in my uh, PDF reader. <clears throat> and it's, it's not hard. The steps are are simple, but they're unforgiving. If you make a mistake, you know you just get wasted time. Let's go to my desktop, and uh, there's that file right there. Now. The other way you can do it in Pro, i turn Show Sheet off, is with using a layout file. I'm gonna go over here to uh, New Layout. And the first thing, you, you should never assume what the size is. You always wanna to go to your dimension tools and, and verify what size it is, just so you know what you're dealing with. That's uh, 18, by 24, okay. I figured it would be. Now I'm gonna go over here and we'll send the layout. I'm gonna send it at 
eighth inch scale. That's fine. And the entire, yeah, that's fine. And there it is on the layout. Now with the layout, you've got a little more leeway in that uh, you can rotate the view and, uh, and in Home Designer Pro, you can't rescale. So if I want to send this to the larger scale, I'm going to delete that view, go back here and we'll send it to layout. This time we'll change the scale from eight to a quarter. I think it'll fit. Now that the uh, software said it won't fit, but you know the software is just a mechanical device. It doesn't know it doesn't know poop from Shinola. So I just that's the reason I just ignored that. It's just a mechanical response. Now that little tag down here, which I don't want, so I'm going to open the dialog box of the image of the uh, instance and suppress it, the label so that that label doesn't show. So it's pretty much like a, a print from a plan, plan view, except that uh, you're, you have a little more, a layout gives you a little more leeway to, to rearrange the drawings and, and set them up the way you want. You know, get that edge of the terrain plane and this edge, might as well. There we go. Now I'm gonna go file print. But you're smart if you don't just print and go smoke a cigarette or drink a cup of coffee some. Look at this dialogue. See what it says. It says it's landscape. That's correct. It says uh, drawing sheet. That's incorrect. Wait a minute. It is It is correct. Okay, but it, the, this size, see how this is all chopped up because this doesn't match what I set it up for, which is architectural C 18 by 24. So we want to fix that first. Oh, and I'm not, I'm not going to print to this printer here. It's just a letter size printer. I need to select that. Okay, now it's set up properly. I could, you know, it, if you use a different size paper, then it's going to chop it up into pieces. So that's, if you see it like this, you know something, something's wrong over here. So we'll change that back to 18 by 24. Okay. So if you miss that step, you'll just get garbage, you know, nothing usable. And then we'll save this PDF. I'm going to save it to my desktop. Oh, also, this time I'm going to change the name to 18 by 24. Save it on my desktop. There it is. Fit page. And on my desktop, let's see, where is it? Oh, there it is. So here's the 18 by 24. Here's the one I, I printed first. Okay. Well, thanks for watching. Have a good day.